So, for this episode, we have to go back to Pan Am because apparently she has another mission for us. And apparently, I, I think she just wants to fucking, you know, break my heart again. But who the fuck am I to say no to her? Since she's the only girl in the fucking game that I can actually have the do with. So, let's just go to her real quick. fucking up this car which is mine by the way this is definitely mine I def I did definitely did not cheat to uh, dude oh, has no me. fucking eyes uh, Jefferson listen I need your help matters private sure okay what's it about not on the home come by I'll lay it out explain everything all right Got your back, Jefferson, not to worry. Great. We'll see you here then. Remember where? Of course. So no time. Interesting that he calls me, considering the cop also called me too, so I'm already feeling some type of way. So we're gonna go over here. I'm pretty sure this is where I'm supposed to go. But yeah, I definitely did not cheat. I definitely did not do a money glitch and have a fuck ton of well, I don't have a fuck ton of money right now. But I did buy a bunch of stuff. So. Let me. Let me go to the gun dudes real quick before I talk to Pan Am. I want to see what he has to sell. Directly to me. V, you're here. I don't know. What is he doing here? I forbade you from even breathing on that Militech convoy, so you call in your friend? To do it all behind my back, is that it? Uh-huh. That's exactly why I had V come and stand right in front of you. Do you think I'm that stupid? I am starting to wonder. Damn it to hell, Saul. Are you seriously considering letting that basilisk slip through our fingers? I am. But a chance like this. A chance of that. <laughs> rotting up the job. <laughs> wow. Seems a lot changed while I was away. No. Nothing has changed at all. The Biotechnica people will be here in an hour. Try not to cock anything Wait, else up. Wait, are you still you. selling the fucking plate? I can't believe it. Look, there he goes, off to paint the grass green. I thought the Biotechnica contracted withered and die. Saul insists we see it through to the end. To prove the Aldecaldos keep their word. Crop protection? Who gives a damn about crop protection? All Saul is going to prove is that a corp can walk all over us, and we'll say thank you and ask for I'm more. Confused what's going on, but okay. What's this basilisk nonsense? It's an armored Militech cargo panzer. Junk from back in 2060 or so. They want to pedal it off to a backwards country, somewhere it can still pass as a technological wonder. The Militech convoy will take the 101 right past us. Shame not to say hello. Is this basilisk worth another fight with Saul? Yes, a craft like that would finally put us back on the right path. The family is falling apart. If we fall into this biotechnica rut, no one will ever take us seriously again. Okay, so you do want to go behind Saul's back. And drag me <laughs> here specifically for that. Cassidy, Ted, Carol, and Bob also on board. <sighs> Remember a while back? Told me to give you a solid kick in the pants if I saw you diving in the stupid pool again. I do. Yet that was before our tandem raid on the Raffin camp. I believe you lost your opportunity there. Nope. Different that. Rescue mission. Someone from the family. Now, you're out to playing trick em. If you plan to lecture me, you can uh. all go right now. <sighs> Why Saul got his briefs in a bunch over this basilisk? He's afraid Militech will destroy Wouldn't they? To fight with it. He thinks it's safer to stick with the corporations. Like Biotechnica. <laughs> what a joke. You guys would rather... We would rather go back to plying the trade we know best. Logistics. Meaning smuggling. <laughs> That's what I uh... said. And you plan to grab the Basilisk how? Sh I didn't... Thanks, V. Haven't said I'd help. V, that's yet. exactly okay, how I would have reacted. Fucking potato. I'm 
So, just the four vets on board with the plan. Nobody else? We didn't bother asking the others. There was too great a risk someone would take it to solve. Besides, only the vets understand what we have to gain by having a basilisk. Okay. Sounds pretty risky to me. On the contrary, easy as pie. Can there won't even be much security on the convoy. Plus, we'll be doing our part <laughs> towards furthering the cause of world peace. Why should this beast wind up being used in some little third world skirmish? We'll make better use of it right Jesus. here in America. Did you try to get All right, gentlemen. Again? No luck, huh? No. Okay, everyone listen. And two females. Militech will transport the basilisk in parts distributed across two trucks. Wait, do I sense a quiver in your voice? Fuck you! The convoy will halt at the railroad crossing on the 101. We'll attack from behind, then get the hell out and away. Questions? Comments? Motions? Nice job, Sunshine. Mm-hmm. Damn short, sweet, and pertinent. Pan Am's got a beef with Saul, I know. But you guys. A few years back, nobody would have given corporal work a second thought. One, a good name. We just need good gear and good jobs. And so, see that if he pulled his head out of his caboose once in a while. <sighs> I have to fucking be in this, and I hate this. Okay, I'm in. Shut hmm. up, Pan Am. Okay, thanks. First, we'll ride to the station. The train engine we need to block the convoy's way is there. Are you riding with us, or will we? I'm riding there? with you. Come on, fuck it. Riding with you. Excellent. Let's get going. I don't want them knowing what my fucking ride looks like. I heard a little shake in that voice. You did not. Ah, uh, come on. Did you get your hands clammy <laughs> too? Screw you. Oh, that's great. But are you sure you didn't leave any tracks? Militech won't notice a thing. Are you trying to insult oh. me, Bobby? Okay, okay. Forget I even asked. Alright. We're gonna die. Pan Am, I better, I better get some Poonani after this shit. I am risking my motherfucking ass again for your dumb shit. You, you're go. the one who's driving, bro. Nobody's gonna notice you gone back at camp. Saul has no wish to see us there anyway. The better to make a good second impression on the biotechnica suits. Your sour faces wouldn't help much. Indeed, they would not. Raffins, what about them? Expecting any trouble? I can get that car if I want. He's posted sentries all around the camp. How's that not right? He's wrong in continuing to fight the symptoms rather than the disease. You don't miss life in Night City? At times, perhaps. I miss the feeling of having a new beginning. Of freedom. But I also haven't forgotten the emptiness. The feeling of realizing it means nothing if you're alone. Yeah. Took adjustment on my part, too. Though, uh, never was completely alone. You had someone? <sighs> Good friend. Jackie by name. You would have liked him, actually. Jackie. I miss you, Jackie. This game would have been better if you were in it. For longer than a fucking tutorial. God, can you can you imagine me, Jackie, doing missions together? Ah, uh, fucking sucks, bro. Big bastard. We like it so much. Maybe we should just hide. Okay, the so let me switch weapons real quick. The basilisk go on its way. Yeah, then just drive this piece of the 101. Back. I feel like I feel like this game has the same issue with legendaries in uh what's it called? Uh, Fallout 4. It's like they're legendaries, but they don't feel or look like legendaries, which is a fucking shame. Got something. Good job. Carol! We have a card! What now? You have to put it in the reader! 
Well, the the card in the reader. <sighs> Here goes nothing. Oh, I can see. Yeah. Come look. Little engine that could. Watch well, something go fucking pop off right now. V, <sighs> what? What did you want to talk about? I know this may sound foolish. Uh huh. Because I asked you to help me. But why are you doing this? Because it's important to you. Sorry, sorry. That sounded worse than I intended. <laughs> Please, I... Yes, ma'am. I'm not very good at this. Speaking oh, of God. Feelings and so forth. And I would not want to cut this up. Uh... Well, that's a start. The thing is, okay. I usually act before I think. Uh -huh. That's fine. Noticed. Uh huh. I know, but I also need impulses to act upon. When I do something spontaneously, I feel I'm being honest. Yet with you, it's a weird thought. I prefer to play it safe. Huh? Why is it any different with me? Because I'm important. Because I truly. You don't want to fuck it up. Yeah, yeah. Say something foolish and be left alone in the desert. I would rather keep you close, if only as a friend. Uh, try following the impulse next time. Okay. It's crazy. Well, in any case, you've been warned. All right, let's rejoin the others. Fuck that, dude. I've been in the friends list. It's not fun. Convoy. Excuse me, miss. News on it. Yes, Carol checks their communication channels from time to time. Everything is proceeding as planned. Nah. All right, that's good. Yo, me and Pan Am are fucking tonight. Oh, is that? That's not what. That's not what's happening. Why are we having a fucking campfire? Was that food? That looks like. Slog, but it'll do. Oh no! Oh no! I'm not her babysitter. Oof. I'm like here. Do I have to wait for Pan Am's bitch ass? Bro, you're slow as fuck, homegirl. Vamos! Plus, what up there, bro? I don't got all fucking day! I do have all day, actually, but I don't want to fucking wait for her all day. We could still Get your ass down a minute, honey. Free. Everything's under control. The convoy is already heading our way. Am I gonna tell her that, uh, Saul just texted me? Oh shit! Hurry up! Oh. <laughs> I didn't mean to apologize. Uh. Quite some time left till dusk. Hmm. Yeah, a lot. 